How's it going lads, I'm New Clues and welcome back for more of the latest VR news. In this video we take a look at the Vive Cosmos Elite and see how it fares in comparison to other headsets in the same price range. I'll also answer the question of, is it even any good? But first, I've been looking at my channel analytics and I came back with PTSD and I also found out that 93% of the people watching my channel are not subscribed. <laughs> Now that's a depressing statistic if I've heard one. Please subscribe, I'm slowly dying inside. If you like this video, be sure to check out some of my others as I do content like this all the time. Also, check in every Sunday for Sunday news with new clues. And now on with the video. Last video, I had a look at the HP Reverb G2. This is a headset that is not yet out, but looks incredible. I was talking about the similarities in comparison to the Vive Cosmos Elite that released recently. In this video I want to go into a bit more detail on the Cosmos Elite and I recently got to try it out and here is my review. The first thing I want to look at is what it's like on paper. The Cosmos Elite has pretty good paper stats with the 1440 by 1700 pixels per eye resolution, a refresh rate of 90Hz and a field of view of 110 degrees. These are all pretty decent specs, but for a headset that is um, costs £899, I don't know if it's worth it, it's a lot of money, and then you can get other headsets that are the same price, but better. So today I will put it in comparison with some of today's other high-end headsets. But before we compare them, I'd like to answer the question of who's it aimed at, and who's actually going to buy the Cosmos Elite? I mean, it costs £899, which is not cheap, and for £20 more you can buy the Valve Index, which is arguably the best headset that you can currently buy. The Index is the better in most respects, with a refresh rate of 120Hz and a field of view of 130 degrees. The Index also has off-ear headphones that provide great sound quality, and also uses the Steam VR 2.0 sensors that give pretty good tracking as well. The only thing that the Cosmos has over the um, Cosmos Elite, sorry, has over the index is the resolution. The Cosmos Elite has one of 1440 by 1700, which is a tiny bit better than the index of uh, 1440 by 1600, but it's not much, and the index beats it in every other field. Vive aimed their past headsets like the Pro at companies, but this one. It's around the same price as a Valve, and it's not as good, so why would they go for the Cosmos Elite and not the Valve? It's a strange question, I, I don't understand what Vive is marketing here. So why would you buy it instead of the Index is the question we would usually ask. Well in normal circumstances I just wouldn't. It lacks in refresh rate, field of view, and sh should not be the difference between having an oversized bin strapped to your head or sending your only neglected child to college. Yes, I saw that joke from up, it's not John Pine Brain Dead. Please subscribe and need help, link is in the description. But if you buy it before the 30th of June, it comes with a free copy of Half Life Alex and six months of Vive Port Premium, which usually c costs £77. This is not sponsored in any way, please sponsor me, Vive. I'd love that. Viveport being the thing that gives you access to hundreds of games for free. This is not a bad deal, but is it really the best that you can buy for this insane amount of money? It is a great headset in its own right. It's um, Vive's, HTC Vive's best headset that you can buy, but Valve beats it. The Valve Index, sorry, beats it in every uh, respect apart from resolution. And also, it has the knuckles. This is good, but is it best in the long run? Short answer is no. Um, the Vive costs the same amount as the Index and lacks in most respects. The Index for me is worth the cost with the knuckles and the better specs, but the Cosmos Elite, as good as it is, is not worth the £900 it costs. Maybe if it's on sale, then it may be worth it, but for what you get, it's not worth £900. I would spend the tiny bit extra and buy the Index that is better spec-wise, much more comfy and provides better sound quality, and with a much better experience all round. If you have made it this far, then thank you very much for watching, it means a lot to know that people actually enjoy what I make. 
I will try to be streaming on Tuesdays, so come and drop in. I might play some games, answer some questions you have, that sort of thing. Again, do please subscribe, leave a like if you want, because it always means a lot and it's great to see. Thanks for watching and I'll see you soon for more of the latest VR news. Thanks lads.